Hey everybody, welcome back to Sky Lounge. Here to discuss some World Cup action as we get underway with day one. Still sick as dog shit right now, but I'm gonna try to get through this uh, without coughing or dying violently of coughing. So, day one, we start with Robbie Williams. And the opening performance, I mean, opening ceremony performance? Why? I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't fucking know. I, I don't know why they couldn't get somebody else, but... They went with Robbie Williams. Hey, why the fuck not? And then you go on with Vladimir Putin saying some shit. And to me, you know, all throughout this match, when I'm seeing Vladimir Putin, you know, sitting there, I'm thinking, he just seems like a really bro kind of guy. You know, probably probably grab a couple of beers. In his case, probably a couple of bottles of fucking vodka and just get fucked up. Probably smoke a joint. I mean, he, he, he just seems like a guy who'll fucking ride a bear. You know, he's, he's just one of those guys. So that's fucking Putin for you. But let's get on with the actual match. Saudi Arabia versus Russia. Here I was thinking, you know, opening five minutes, I thought, you know, if Saudi Arabia can get Russia with their pants down, I can definitely see an upset here. But Russia proved to be a little too much, as in the first 12 minute, first, the 12th, the 12th fucking minute of this match. Nice fucking header above the defender by number eight, Gazinski for Russia. First international goal for the lad, so good for him, awesome for him. And then in the 23rd minute, we got our first injury of the match, and the dude's name is Zago. If I, dude, I'm gonna fuck these names up. So, look them up on WhoScored.com. The score, all that shit, all the goal scorers are there. I just want to tell you what the fuck I saw, which was just a fucking calamity from a Saudi Arabia standpoint. Because at the injury, you thought, okay, maybe. Maybe Saudi Arabia has a little momentum going for them, but no. The substitute, the substitute, okay? He scored the goal 20 minutes after the substitution. Number six, Cherishev. You know, I think, I, I don't know if you're a, lot, a lot of you aren't familiar with him or whatnot. He plays in La Liga. Fucking defensive breakdown for Saudi Arabia. And he gets the fucking goal in there. And, you know, here's the thing. You go into the second half thinking, all right, Saudi Arabia, you conceded two goals. Pretty terrible defense, you know. I think the goalkeeper couldn't really do anything about it. What the fuck are you going to do? You got to try to slow the pace in the midfield and get Russia on the fucking break. They proceeded to not do that shit. What they proceeded to do was just kind of not really have to find balance in the match and just kind of shit the bed afterwards, okay? Because in the 71st minute... Got another fucking goal in there by Russia. Zuba. Header by towering over a defender. And here's the thing. I said, I said coming into this match, I said Russia looks really old. They look really old and really fucking slow. But they battered Saudi Arabia 5-0 this match. Yes. The goals weren't even done. 90th minute and an extra, and an extra time fucking goal in there. Cherishev with another fucking goal. So he's probably going to get rumored to go make some big English move. I hope to God it's not Arsenal, but it's going to probably fucking happen. And then Goldovin, Goldovin with the fucking great goal from that free kick. And so here's the thing, boys and girls. You know, my, the whole purpose of this recap is to just kind of get a thought process of what the fuck is going to happen. And here's the thing. I was very wrong about Russia. Uh, Russia is going to do pretty damn fine. I mean, I, I don't know if they get out of the group stage depending on how well Egypt does. I think that's the big, 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 big if factor in this group A here. If somehow Egypt, you know, wrestles forward and just fucking batter Saudi Arabia and Russia, I think Egypt is going to go second. I think Uruguay is undoubtedly first. But great start to the fucking, you know, World Cup. You get a 5-0 win by the host nation, which I don't think has happened in a while, but... Correct me if I'm wrong, but Russia in this match looks solid. But again, I think going forward for Russia, it's going to be one of those things where you say they're a bit slow. Saudi Arabia, not a lot of hope for you guys. Sorry, you just conceded five goals. There's really no positives to take away from this shit. So that's day one. That's day one. Robbie Williams, Putin, and a fucking battering on the pitch. So let me know what you guys think. You know, comment, subscribe, all that shit. Until next time, fuck off.